Hi, my name is Chuck and I'm from the First Baptist Church in Benson, Arizona. And we're going through the 39 day, the 39 readings of Ephesians. And today we'll be doing the 37th day and um, Ephesians from 6, 10 and 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm, firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, and against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. This has turned into an intense battle. You won't see it. You won't see it as a battleground, but the whole world is the battleground. Satan is a full-scale war against the saints of God, you and me. He wants to take away our joy. He wants does not he does not sleep. We are weak in comparison to him and feeble. But the strength of Jesus Christ is without equal. When our strength is found in him, we will be strong and able to stand firm. To have strength in the Lord, we need to walk with the Lord daily, not just on Sunday or just on a certain day, but daily we need to walk with him. Read his word, hear his voice. We grow in our relationship with him. We rest in his strength when we do this. When we know him, we see what he has done, what he is doing, and what he is, will do. Our strength grows as we surrender to his will. Then we will stand firm. We need to be familiar to recognize our Lord and stay in contact with him through church, prayer, Bible. We should always be in contact with our Lord. When we neglect being in contact with our Lord, we become vulnerable. We need to stay with him, walk with him. You know, we know that the Lord is constantly with us, but he doesn't force himself on us. We need to recognize God, recognize the Lord, and stay in contact with him. When we do, we are more than able to stand firm against Satan. Thank you.